for a majority of our students, their first class at year up is their first college class ever. But we know it won't be their last, and that many of you graduates will be continue to work your way towards your degree as soon as you can. Some of you started classes last week. Each one of you has proven that you're ready for success in college, career, and in our community here in Boston, and we are incredibly, incredibly proud of all of you. As I come before you today, I bring to you a message that has been ubiquitous in my life, but specifically in the past year. The message is about vision, but more so the power of vision. We have conceived the idea of coming to this program to better ourselves, and we believe that we can do it even when it got tough. And now, here we are today, together as a body that has achieved a common goal, graduating from year up. Be proud of this accomplishment and use this experience as a reference point as you take on new challenges in the future. To my fellow students, I want to congratulate you again on your completion of this rigorous program. You have overcome many obstacles to achieve this goal, which has made you a better person in the process. But it doesn't stop here. I challenge and encourage you to use this formula to conceive, believe, and achieve new dreams and goals as you continue on your journey to success. We're here today because there's about 112 people that persisted, they were persistent enough and consistent enough to make it through this year up. You have the skills to influence your work environment. You have the skills to raise office productivity. Also, that will push up profitability. And what does that do? That keeps your butt employed. All of us come to a point in our lives sometimes where we find out the secret. And the secret to my being in higher education is because I know I live in the future through the students that I touch. And so every day I walk onto that campus and I greet someone and I meet someone and I teach someone and I help someone or I learn from someone, I know their lives moving into the future are going to make a difference. Because it's not about me today. It's about them that 112 that I came to say thank you to. That's what I showed up for. Dear Year Up Class of 2010, we were all a part of different learning communities. Arise, focus, and unify success. We finally did it. We all came a long way and boy was it hard. But what doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. This is just another door of opportunity opening for us, and we have to keep going. We are great today, but we have to be even greater tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will be full-time employees. Tomorrow, we will be college students. And tomorrow, we will be year up alumni. Graduates, think back to where you were a year ago, or even two years ago. Think of the reason why you wanted to come to year up. Why did you commit to coming in every day and working hard? What drove you to believe and accept year up's core values? You just had to make a commitment to yourself and to your success. Look where you are now. Who would have thought this is how far you would have got? Congratulations, you did it. You didn't make excuses when things got tough. You didn't let life get in the way of your success. You should be very proud of yourselves. And Matthias, I'm so proud of you for the way you've led us all through today's event and provided the visual of what I want Europe to look like in 10 years, which is a Europe graduate in my role here on stage. So Matthias and our graduates have always, I've already reminded us why we're all here to celebrate. And that's the last thing for me to do is, is really humbly ask each one of you in the room today to take those feelings of inspiration, hope, opportunity, they're in your heart right now, and do something with them. We know the opportunity divide won't close on its own. So we need to do something about it. If you know a young person who'd be a good fit for our March class, we're recruiting. Send them our way, stop at the admissions table on the way out and make sure we know who they are. The key is to do something. And the very first thing you can do right now is to join me one more time in congratulating the class of January 2010. Thank you all for so much for being here.